All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect all the sensors on your test bed to the brain. Um, unfortunately, you'll have to do this every day because we have to share these brains with the different hours and there's just not enough for everyone to have their own. So you'll connect it and disconnect it each day, but it doesn't take very long. So you're going to need a brain, obviously, your test bed. All right, the first thing, or the next thing you're gonna need is one of these wires. They're called the V5 motor controllers and they're in the big gray cabinet. Uh, there are different lengths of these. Uh, any length is gonna work just fine. It doesn't matter if you get a long one or a short one, they're all gonna work. So you're going to have this uh, connector right here and see how it's got the little clip on the bottom. Okay, and in the hole, there's like a part right here that is lower and so you're going to take the little clip and maybe if I turn it sideways, there we go. Make sure you hear that click. Okay. Now, other side, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Now, since this motor is installed reversed from this motor, the little extra part is up top. So the, on this one, the clip is gonna go up top. You just do whatever, however your motor is in there is what you need to do. Just make sure you hear that click. Okay. Now the brain here has two different places that um, things can connect. These here are where the sensors are going to connect. Anything that's red, one, two, three, are going to connect here. The motors are going to connect here. So the motors go in these ports, which are numbered. The sensors go in these ports, which have letters. That's the battery. That's the USB cord. And then these other ones we're, we're not gonna be using. Okay, it's important that you connect things in the right spot. Now, as far as which motor goes in one and which motor goes in two, doesn't really matter. The sensors do matter, but you just want to have one motor go in one. and the other motor goes in two. Now the sensors matter. Motors, they're both the same thing, so it doesn't really matter which one is which. Sensors are all a little bit different. So the button, what we call the bump switch, is going to go into letter A. Notice that there's a, this little piece that kind of sticks out from the rest of the connector here. All right. And there's a little part that's raised up. So the piece that sticks out has to go on top. All right, the switch right here, we call that the limit switch. That is going to go into B. All right, so when I first plugged in my bump switch, I didn't realize how far it's supposed to go in. But you can see it goes all the way in. So if yours is sticking out like mine was at the beginning, if 
like that, that's not gonna work, okay? You gotta be all the way in. All right, next. It says line tracker on here, but I've always called it the light, the light sensor. We're gonna plug that into C. Finally, the light is going to plug into D. All right, so you can see sensors plugged into the ends, motors are plugged into one and two, and then like I said, this is where the battery is going to plug into. And then this is where the small end of the USB plugs into. The larger end of the USB goes into the computer <clears throat> and you are all ready to go.